Hi, I am Alex Bowden, and I did my research project on the history of Earth and life. So I've always had a fascination with ancient life forms. So a research project just on the history of Earth and all the ancient creatures that live there sounded perfect to me. So um, I wrote my entire research paper on that. I started when the Earth was formed, and I ended today at the present. So for my artifact, I decided to, cre to create a globe of Pangaea. This is the supercontinent Pangaea that was formed in the late Paleozoic era and was deformed at the middle of the Mesozoic era. Most people know the Mesozoic era as the era of which the dinosaurs lived. For the rest of it, to aid the globe, I decided to create a poster detailing the history of Earth and life. So we have our timeline of the planet starting from 4.6 billion years ago and ending today. We have Earth being formed. Then we have cellular life being formed, multicellular life, and then at the end is where all the fun stuff happens, where Pangaea forms, dinosaurs are created, and then humans, who start six million years ago. So some of you might be wondering what a supercontinent is. A supercontinent is a landmass made out of most of the land, if not all of the land, throughout the entire uh, planet. And Pangaea was a very large supercontinent. It had most of the land was all concentrated here on the planet, near the face of it. And that is my research project on the history of Earth and life. Hello, my name is Shepard Brown, and I have chose basketball for my portfolio project. I have played basketball since I was younger and has been my favorite sport since then. This has motivated me to choose basketball as my portfolio project because of my love for the game. I researched mainly the beginnings of basketball when there wasn't an NBA or any actual leagues. It was just a man who created a sport for his high school team. Right here for my artifact is a replica of the first basketball goal ever created by the inventor. Of course, it's not as big or 10 feet, but it does have the peach basket and the wooden frame. For my service, I helped out with the ESK Elementary School Saints League, and I would help out a few times a week for a few weeks. In conclusion, my love for basketball has motivated me to do basketball for my portfolio project. Thank you. Hi, my name is Savannah Bush, and for my portfolio project, I chose to do the history of Tennessee women's basketball. I chose this project because I have always been interested in basketball since I was seven. I loved playing it, and I also loved watching it. Ever since I came to ESK, I found that basketball was my sport when I decided to play it in fourth grade at Saints League. So for my research, I looked up facts about Kelly Harper and the history of other players and Pat Summit, of course. And for my interview, I interviewed Eric Trainer, who goes to the University of Tennessee, who helps out with the uh, women's basketball team. And for my artifact, I collected 99 pieces of newspaper <laughs> And one of the challenges I faced from this was I had to wait every Sunday for new newspapers to come in about each of the games they played and all the players and coaches. Some people that I would like to thank is Margaret Gouge, she was my mentor, Eric Trainer, my interviewer, Laura Henrik, my LA teacher, um, Mia and Papa, my grandparents, uh, my dad, and my brother for all helping me out with this project. My name is Zeke and I did the history of UT football and how it arose from a small program into what it is today. Um, since I was born, I have loved UT. And when I heard about this project in maybe sixth grade, I already knew what I wanted to do, which is very helpful. Um, when I look back at Tennessee, we've had a lot of difficult and hard times but it's gotten better because the team's gotten better. So I did my interview with Alex Medina, who is the director of sports medicine at UT, and he helps players recover quicker. I learned that one of the things he does in sports medicine that is different from the NFL is you're with them all year, so you can't just, like, when you're with them all year, then they can rehab better and you can 
always take care of them. When they're injured during the off season, they have to get a, their own physical therapist, which is way more complicated. And for my service, uh, me and my friend Rowan, we went to the lower school and helped children and how to throw and catch a football, which was very fun. One of my biggest challenges was for my research pro for my research, I accidentally used Wikipedia for it, accidentally, and it and I had to find all of the sources where all of the information came from, and then I had to cite it. It was probably about 30 sources, which was not very fun. This is my artifact. I did a slideshow on how Tennessee's jerseys have evolved, which was a little bit in my paper, but this goes more in. It goes from 1892 all the way to now. And it just shows all of that's happened. And it shows how the jerseys have changed with different coaches. So that's my project. Hi, my name's Bennett Cruz. Um, for my portfolio project, it's a bit odd, but I did um, siege tactics. It's, um, I've always kind of found it interesting. Um, ever since I was little, I always liked um, history and major conflicts during history. Um, so I chose to do my project on siege and all the interesting stuff that goes along with it. So for my um, service, I decided to um, volunteer at, a, um, at the local fist pantry and do some work for um, Mobile Meals, uh, an organization which helps people who can't get out of their homes get food and whatnot. Um, some challenges I faced were definitely deadlines. I'm not great with deadlines and um, <laughs> turning in work on time, but I feel like with a lot of help, I definitely got through it. Um, so I, inter I interviewed um, a British um, medieval history professor in England named Michael Prestowich, and he has written many books on medieval history, and he's very... Um, he knows a lot about the topic. Um, so for my artifact, I made a little trebuchet, which is a siege weapon, and I made a little diorama around the area. Usually there would be people around here, but I don't have them today. Um, so really in conclusion, I, it's portfolio projects are really hard, but I feel like with a lot of adversity and hard work and determination, it's pretty easy to get it done. Hello, my name is London DeBus, and for my research topic, I researched the history of medical products and medicines. For my artifact, I made an arm sling and an arm brace. For my interview, I interviewed Dr. David Albert, who is a doctor with hearts. And then for my service project, I started a band-aid drive for people at CARM who couldn't like, afford to get them themselves. And then for some challenges I overcame was just deadlines because I did not pay attention to when stuff was due, so I had to do almost all my stuff at the last minute. Hello, my name is Jack Jagner, and for my portfolio project, I did the evolution of golf equipment. My interest in golf has dated back to when I was about seven years old. I've always loved playing golf. This is why I chose to do golf for my portfolio project. For my research paper, I researched all different types of golf balls, golf clubs, golf tees, golf shoes, all through the ages and how they've changed. For my um, artifact, I've made six hickory golf clubs that, can be, that I've used even, they can still work. For my service project, I decided to do a, a drive where I collect used golf equipment and donate it to the First Tee of Greater Knoxville, which is a great organization that helps people who can't really afford golf, play golf. Some challenges that I've had is on my research paper, I had to write, rewrite multiple paragraphs because I messed them up, but I got them done even though it was quite annoying. And yeah, I've, that's it, I guess. Hi, I'm Chris Easeld. For my project, I chose the histories of acting and actors. For my artifact, I chose the Stranger Things house from season four, the Creel house, as well as the graveyard and the upside down. I chose this artifact and my project because I've always had a large interest in acting since I was young. 
I love the idea of being on screen as well as musicals and plays. In order to conduct this research, I studied over 18 websites, including an interview from Mr. Darren Freebury from the Shakespeare Institute in London, England. After this research, I worked with many teachers and staff to raise $360 to donate to Knoxville Children's Theater. I did this as my interest in theater as well as benefiting my friends and people I know from the theater. I raised this money by holding a free dress day where students paid $5 to pay for a ticket. A few challenges I encountered while doing this project were building and also raising money. It was hard getting a date that I could raise this money for as well as contacting the people who I would need to donate the money to. One of my difficulties with this project was building the wooden frame as well as getting the house to stay upside down. In the end, I'm proud of how everything came out and I'm so lucky to have this opportunity to talk with numerous people around the world as well as people close by. Hi, my name is Joseph Fielden and for my service project, I chose to do ESPN. I chose to do ESPN because I like to watch ESPN every day since I was probably very young. My motive, my research question was what is the history and what is the and how has ESPN evolved? I I did lots of things to, for ESPN. I did an interview with one of the leading people on ESPN, Mr. Paul Feinbaum. And and I researched it in many ways too. I had to go through many different websites and research many different things. For my artifact, I've done the microphone covers that you see whenever you watch an ESPN reporter interview someone or just talk. For my service project, I helped with the Saints League Basketball, which is a basketball program for lower school kids to help learn and develop their skills. I thought this related to ESPN the best because of all of the all of the sports that they do, and I thought that that related to ESPN the most. I faced a few challenges while making these. I couldn't find the right things or just in the project in general, finding an interview and thinking of making microphone flags wasn't the easiest. But in the end, I think I like what I did. In conclusion, I think that choosing ESPN fit me the best and I think that it was a good research project to do. Hi, my name is Chase Fizer and I chose the history of rock and roll and classic rock. I wanted to choose this because I find the topic in music very interesting and it has a very deep history. It's also the music that both of my parents like and grew up with. I wanted to know more about it. To choose, starting off with research, I watched a lot of documentaries from the time to help me understand what was happening and I wanted to hear it from the people who actually made it. For my surface project, I had a dance party with the Jake Junior Kindergarten at ESK for music from the time of my studies. Also, some challenges that I faced were getting the paper done in enough time. I felt like it was having to be turned in in too big of chunks and felt it was a bit stressful. For my artifact, I made a model guitar of the Fender Telecaster, which was one of the most popular guitars for its time and is still in the top three of bestsellers today. In conclusion, I am very glad I chose my topic. It was something I really enjoyed and was glad I got to know more about. Hello, my name is Zane Garza and I do the history and evolution of the MLB. I researched about how, mainly how the ball changed over time, different cheating scandals, um, and how players have adapted over time to fit the new rules of baseball. And firstly, I chose the history of the MLB because the NBA and NFL history was taken for, but overall, I think it was good for me because I already knew a ton about the NBA and NFL's history, but I didn't know much about the MLB because I don't really follow it until um, I started this project, but I'm glad I did because now I like it a lot and it's fun. Some challenges I faced was making my artifact because, um, well, 
I didn't know what to do, but and I'm not very good at making clay, as you can see. But I liked how it turned out. And for my service project, I helped with Saints League, which is um, something to do with sports. It's not directly baseball, but it was some service. And I also helped Miss Brophy organize some jerseys and things that were not organized before. And this, again, was a, well, I did it at last minute. So that was also one of the challenges I faced because I didn't know when this was due. Um, the, I also interviewed somebody at the, um, the Hall of Fame for baseball in Cooperstown. Um, and she, I asked her about how you would become an MLB player, MLB Hall of Famer. And she said that everybody can do it if you're close to the sport. doesn't matter if you're a player, a coach, or official. All in all, um, I feel like I'm really glad I chose to do this. And I would do it again if I had to. Hi, my name is Sophia. And for my eighth grade portfolio project, I added female fashion icons and the designers behind the looks from 100 years. For my motivation for this project is that I've always loved fashion and wanted to include that in my final project at ESK. For my research, I mostly used the internet and for portfolio research and then also a few books. And then the person I interviewed was a great help in the research portion. For my artifact, I made a dress including an element from each decade and icon into one garment. The hardest part from that was trying to make everything cohesive and include an element for each garment. For example, the skirt is the 1940s and the sleeve is the 1980s. For my service project, I gathered winter clothing for children for the Mission of Hope. This is for the children in the Appalachian. I spent a week fundraiser for this. One of the challenges for my portfolio project was making everything cohesive and fit together. It's hard when you have one topic and a fundraiser is kind of different for that. So one of my, for the, the person I interviewed was Salvador Perez, who was very well informed for my project, and I really enjoyed talking to him about the industry. Hi, my name is Porter Kennedy, and for my portfolio project, I researched if Jurassic Park could be built today. For my research paper, I looked at the cost of building the park and whether or not the dinosaurs could be brought back to life. For the interview section of this paper, I contacted the director of animal care at Zoo Knoxville, who told me about challenges in um, caring for exotic animals or animals that you usually don't find in their natural habitat. For my artifact, I made this 3D map of Isla Nublar, the island from Jurassic Park, with labeled locations in the park, as well as where dinosaurs exhibits were on the island. The hardest part of the project was probably creating the 96 note cards that I needed for my research paper. For the service portion of this project, I also led a lesson for the um, lower kindergartner grades in the lower school, and I, I think they really enjoyed that lesson. I made them a coloring book um, that, so they could follow along with the lesson, and it was a really fun project. Hi, my name is Efrosini Kearney, and for my portfolio project, I did the history of surgery. My motivation for my research was probably my parents because they're both in the medical field, so I've always been exposed to all like medical professions and stuff like that. I was always more interested in surgery, so that's one of the big reasons I picked surgery for this. For my research project approach, I used a big part of it was the internet, but I also did a bunch of um, interviews with, with a bunch of cool people. I got to interview two of the head surgeons at Duke, and that was a really cool experience. For my artifact, I decided to create um, an operating table, and then a table with a scalpel and a um, plate, and then an overhead light. And then for my service project, I decided to help the fourth grade, and I made a timeline, and they got to um, look at all the different dates in time, the history, in history, the big like surgery things happened in surgery. <laughs> um, one of the big challenges I overcame was believing in myself and like jumping forward and being ready to like 
go big and get big interviews and big things like that. And then I've learned a lot about surgery throughout this project and it's been one of the coolest experiences. Hello, my name is Emma Maddox, but I prefer to go by Cameron and this is my portfolio project. My portfolio project is on the Humane Society and what they do. My artifact is drawings that I've done of different kittens that I have fostered through the Humane Society. Right here, this is Onyx. We actually adopted him, so he's our little baby now. This is Ozzy. One of my aunts and uncles adopted him. And here are two other cats that have, I do not know their adopted names of, but I know that they have been adopted. And so I went about researching the Humane Society mostly because I was struggling on what topic to do. So I went to my mom and I was like, so I don't know what to choose. And my mom was like, how about the Humane Society? And I was like, huh, that works. Because I didn't actually, when I started this project, there was a lot of things I didn't know. All I knew is that we fostered kittens. So I went about researching it and I learned about the local uh, Humane Society of Tennessee Valley, which only deals with felines and canines, and the National Humane Society, which deals less with uh, fostering and adopting animals out and more of just saving animals in crisis, like uh, dolphins and like more exotic animals. For these, I just took a picture of them, put it on my phone for a reference, and I just sketched them out. And as you can see, they got progressively better as I went along because I didn't, I haven't, before this, I didn't really sit, sit down and draw with a reference. So there was two other versions of Onyx and Ozzy before, but I decided to not use those and redraw them because they were vastly different of quality compared to this one. So this is the oldest one that I am showing. Okay, my name is Max Mueller. And for my project, I did the history of battlefield medicine and my research paper was called From Sage to Surgeons. Uh, the motivation for my project was my great uncle. He was injured in an early battle in the Civil War and uh, was the first documented self-amputation. And my uncle did a research paper on him in the 80s or 90s and was able to find where it actually happened. And so that was a really big part in this. And it, the self-amputation displayed a fundamental part of battlefield medicine. The paper I wrote covered a broad area of research and history from ancient Greece to modern day. Um, and I needed a wide variety of research, so I got it from medical papers, clinics, and places like the Library of Congress website. A uh, particularly helpful research that I found was uh, this article by Charles Van Way on, the, on a broad history of battlefield medicine from the medieval period to the renaissance period and for my interview i interviewed mr nolan watson who is the head of historians at the u.s army's medical museum or u.s medical department museum and he co-authored the medco centennial anniversary book and as well he is the director of uh, the army medical department museum's center of history and heritage uh, for my artifact I chose to display tournaments throughout the years and I also showed what happens when you use a tourniquet and when you don't. Um, and for my service project I cleaned up Fort Dickerson in downtown Knoxville as well as many other uh, like uh, downtown historical sites and then I cleaned some more historical sites on the outskirts of the city. Uh, and the challenge I found was interviewing somebody because not many people uh, really specialize in the history of battlefield medicine. It's either history of medicine or history of war. But I was very happy when I found Mr. Nolan Watson uh, because that is what he does. That's what he specializes in. Hi, my name is Tegan Mewitt, and my portfolio project is women's lacrosse, how one sport evolved over 133 years. 
My motivation for this project was the fact that I play lacrosse on two club teams and I just wanted to know more, and I wanted to know more about the history of women's lacrosse. So the question I wanted to ask was how has lacrosse impacted its players' lives and I did lots of research for this. I read lots of articles from USA Lacrosse and also other websites. I also had the opportunity to interview Taylor Cummings, a world-renowned women's lacrosse player. She won the Tawarton Award three times in college, and she helped lead Team USA to victory in the most recent Women's World Lacrosse Championships. For my artifact, I built two model lacrosse fields. The first one has a press box, and it's more of like an above view, and then the second one is a more in-depth look at the crease, eight meter and 12 meter. For my service project, I taught four lower school PE classes. I taught third and fourth graders about the basics of lacrosse, like cradling, shooting, scooping, and throwing and catching. A lot of them left with greater skills than they'd walked in with, and a lot of them were, became more interested in the sport. Some challenges that I faced were not being able to find an interview. I searched for weeks, and I finally emailed Taylor Cummings, and she emailed me back, and I was so happy that I got to interview her. It was like a once in a lifetime opportunity. And then I learned so much from this project and I would like to thank my parents, my sister, Mrs. Henrik, Mrs. Lancaster, and Taylor Cummings. Thank you. Hi, I'm Katie Ann Moon and my portfolio project is on the sinking of the RMS Titanic. Um, I became interested in the Titanic from a lifelong fascination with the unknown and I wanted to know more about the sinking and how and why it happened. Um, how I completed this, I interviewed James Myers, who is an ex historical expert at the Titanic Museum in Pigeon Forge. He told me a lot about the passengers on Titanic and he also let me see some great artifacts from the museum and offered to let me borrow them anytime that I needed them. Um, my next thing I did was my artifact, which I made a model Titanic. Um, it took me about 17 hours to make. It was really, really fun. It's like Legos, so it was really fun to make. Um, and then for my service, I, inter I presented my project to the second grade classes. Um, I made a slideshow presentation and really just like told them everything there was to know about Titanic, and they were very interested in that and very receptive of that. Um, uh, my, a challenge that I faced was uh, my service. It was, due, it was due before spring break, but the day that I was scheduled to do it was the day that we were let out for rain. Um, so I had to reschedule that, which was a little bit confusing for my getting my um, essay written and stuff, but I think I got it and everything is complete and turned in now. So yeah, um, I'm really happy with my project and thank you so much for watching. My name is Wiley Nielsen and I did my project on how a dam could be beneficial to South Sudan. Um, my topic was to help South Sudan in, ma in making a plan for a dam that would benefit the people and it would be hydro-powered so it would help with their electricity crisis and their water crisis at the same time. Um, I became interested in this project because I did a Model UN project on this, so I was already familiar with the topic and I thought it would be a great choice for my eighth grade project. Uh, I had many difficult parts of my research, including I lost all my note cards when I was doing my research, so I had to redo all of them as this in one night. Um, doing this project, I had realized a few things about how lucky we are to live in America, because in South Sudan, water is almost currency, and to get water, people are getting hurt, kidnapped, and all sorts of awful things are happening, and their water is unsafe. Um, I, going back to the challenges in my project, I went through a lot of challenges, like finding research, because a lot of it may have been unreliable, and a lot, there's a lot, there's a war going on in South Sudan, so there's a lot of like controversial uh, websites that there are, so I had to go through and find out that ones that went on both sides and we were in the middle. Uh, for my artifact, I did research on where the dam would be, um, uh, how much it would cost, will we pay the workers, how long it would take to build, and how much 
energy it would produce and how it could benefit the people and benefit South Sudan as a whole. Um, in conclusion, I would, next year in high school, I will definitely try not to procrastinate as much, try not to turn, turn in work late, and I would just try and stay on topic and not try and do the fun things first. Do the worst first. Hi, my name is Grayson Parker, and for my portfolio project, I did the history and evolution of sports cards. Ever since I was a kid, I've loved collecting and trading cards with my friends and family, and I can I've continued to do that throughout my life so far. So I decided to learn everything that I could about sports cards. For my artifact, I made a wooden display for all of, for some of my cards. And it was quite difficult. I had never really done anything like this before. And so I basically just, I had to cut all of the wooden pieces into the correct shapes, paint them, and glue them to the plexiglass and the hinges to make it open and close properly. Uh, for my service project, I helped out with Saints League at ESK. So I ref their games and also coached some of the practices. And so I was able to give some constructive advice to the kids there. Uh, for my interview, I interviewed Clay Larashi, who is the vice president of product development at Tops, which is one of the largest sports card companies in the world. He was a great interviewee for me because he was really knowledgeable about the cards and sort of the evolution of the design of cards. And it was amazing. For uh, I had quite a lot of challenges for this, and one of them was just finding out the right sources for information, because there's not there wasn't a whole lot of information out there. Uh, but after, so it took a lot of time for me to just find the right sources. But I was able to do that with a lot of research. I'd also never built anything like this. I wasn't very experienced, but I was able to you know with some help from my parents. I was able to make it, and I think it turned out quite well. For this project, I want to thank Ms. Henrik, Clay Larashi, who I interviewed, my friends, and my family. Thanks for making this project a breeze. Hi, I'm Jordan, and my project is about saving sharks. So since I was a little kid, I've always been really afraid of sharks whenever I would go to the ocean, and I started to research it. And as I watched more movies about sharks and realized that they're actually not that big of a threat to humans, only like six to eight people die from shark attacks every year and 150 million sharks die every year from humans. Um, so as I was developing this interest, I started watching movies like Shark Water and reading articles online about shark attacks, which most of them were provoked. I got really interested in the shark teeth because it's the only part of them that will stay behind after they die and fossilize. And me and my dad, since I've been young, have always walked along the beach and collected these shark teeth, and we got a really big collection. Um, my artifact is all of the shark teeth that we have collected, mainly the best and biggest ones like this sand tiger. And I printed out photos of each of the sharks that I did, like hammerhead, great white, and then Next to them, I have some of their teeth in a Ziploc bag. And I wrote a small paragraph above each one, kind of explaining how their teeth are used and why they're special. And then next to them, I have fun facts about each different type of sharks and ways to save sharks, because that is my project. My service project was a bake sale donating to um, Shark Stewards. Shark Stewards is this incredible organization that helps sharks survive and goes on expeditions, spreading knowledge about what sharks are actually like, which aren't like man-killing apex predators. I sold out like in the first 20 minutes of the bake sale, and it was really fun because I got to interview the guy that was head of Shark Stewards, which was super cool. And the biggest challenge I probably went through was getting reliable sourcing, because online there's so many different articles about like brutal shark attack that isn't actually true and there are all of these movies that portray them as like hunting for humans when in reality that's not true at all. Um, to conclude, my service project is about saving sharks because they're a really interesting misunderstood animal that has gone through so much and will become extinct soon if we don't change it. 
My name is Eva Perry and my portfolio project is on the future of surgery. For my service project, I m made a bunch of cards and had everyone in the middle school sign them and I donated them to Children's Hospital to help um, sick kids have a better Valentine's Day. Um, for my artifact, I got clay and made sculpted a heart and put in wires and gears to make a robotic heart. Um, I decided to choose the future of surgery for my um, portfolio project because I'm really interested in the medical field and wanted to learn more about it. And for my interview, I interviewed Dr. Hall, who is a plastic surgeon, and he gave me a lot of good information. Everything went pretty smoothly on my portfolio project on the future of surgery. Hi, my name is Ron Ramon, and I picked the history of the NFL. For, since a young age, yeah, I've always been interested in the NFL. So it just made sense for me to pick it for my portfolio projects. For my service project, I collaborated with Zeke to teach some of the lower school kids about football, football skills, catching, throwing, and played a couple games. It was Miss Hendricks' idea, and I'd like to thank her for that. And for my, artif for my artifact, I created the Lombardi Trophy in some grass field to showcase um, the trophy and it's the trophy for the winners of the Super Bowl and then my dad helped me make it I just I got a football and cardboard and I put it to tape cut it and put it together and spray painted everything and then for the grass I had to put it on a board and spray paint the lines on it to make it look like a field and I, it had a lot of setbacks, especially with my writing. That took me a very long time to come up with the right ideas and have it be actually good. And then for my ab um, artifact, I had, it had trouble coming up with ideas for a long time. And when I finally landed on this, I had trouble finding out how I should create it and how I should make it look like this because it's a weirdly shaped trophy. And I've learned a lot, of, lot from this project. I've learned how to research, how to write a research paper correctly and how to get an interview done. I also learned how to network from, um, Adam, from me interviewing Adam Schefter for my um, research paper. And I'd like to thank my dad for helping me create my artifact, Miss Henrik and Miss Lancaster, especially for helping me with my research paper, and Mr. Spates for being my mentor. Thank you. Hi, my name is Krishna Shankar, and for my eighth grade portfolio project, I did the history and evolution of tennis. So for this project, I researched the origins of tennis and how it's changed over time. And this is my artifact. I wanted to uh, kind of create a kind of older racket, not a modern racket, to show how different they are from the modern ones now. And for my service project, I went and cleaned up public parks. And I learned a lot from this project. I learned about the origins of tennis, how it's changed, the materials, and the scoring. And this was a really interesting project, and I'm glad I did it on this. Hi, my name is Rama Shankar. For my portfolio project, I did the history of pizza. For my artifact, I created eight laser-cut pizza slices and decorated them with toppings. Each pizza represents a different kind of pizza from all over, from, from all over the world. For my interview, I interviewed a chef at at a restaurant called, Jab called Jabonis. I interviewed Chef Jose. One, many, I, I had one struggle over the, over, the pro over the duration of this project. And that was, and I was writing the research paper, but in the end, I, I pulled through. I would, I would also like to thank my, I, I would like to give a special thanks to my mom and dad because they helped me through this project. Thank you. My name is Ava Sills, and I did a uh, history of the Republican Party for my portfolio project. The reason I did this is so I could learn more about America and American's history, and it's also something that not a lot of people have done. Um, my artifact, I made clay elephants for it, and it took a while to make like the legs and the ears, but I think it turned out pretty good. My interview helped me understand the concept more because I got to interview Commissioner Larson J, the commissioner at large of the Knoxville community. He helped me understand the government and more of the history of the Republican Party. 
The challenges I faced when doing this was writing the research paper and making the elephants because I've never made anything like this before and the research paper was hard because I'm not a big writer. In conclusion, I'm very thankful for my interview with Larson J and I'm glad I learned how to write a research paper when I'm still young. Hello, my name is Wynn Staley and for my portfolios project I did the history of soccer. Soccer has been a major part in my life. I've been playing it since I was a kid and some of my most memorable moments and some of my greatest friends have been made playing this game. For my artifact I stripped apart a soccer goal and clipped on all of the all of the soccer balls throughout the World Cup. For my service I did the I helped out with a small soccer team from the AYSO league and I coached them for about two weeks. For my research paper I researched all of the major important parts about this beautiful game and in conclusion this has been a very fun project and thank you. Hi my name is Kaden Chalmantana and my project is all about makeup. Um, for my project I researched anything about makeup um, from how it started, what's in it, and basically everything about it. For my artifact, I made my own makeup, um, lip gloss, blush, eyeshadow, mascara. Challenges that I faced during my project was I had a hard time with my time management and also I had a hard time finding things about specific topics about makeup. For my service project, um, I started off by helping with lower school art classes and I helped them make art and then after that I moved on to helping with Carpool Cafe and helping them bring out their more creative side with art projects and coloring and all the fun stuff that you get to do in lower school. I've always loved makeup and everything about it since I was younger and um, I've always been inspired by multiple different makeup artists. Um, I love doing makeup and I love the art of it because it just makes me happy to see the different things that you can do on your face um, with colors and I just love seeing other people also being inspired by it as well. For this project, I would like to thank my teacher, Ms. Henrik, for being there, um, the lower school art teacher, Ms. Calhoun, and my mom for helping me with everything. Hello, my name is Jacob Travis, and my service project is on Dollywood. I've been going to Dollywood since I was a young age, and I think it's a good enough theme park to have a service project on it. I've done this artifact to support the Eagle Foundation because the, the Eagle Foundation has something to do with Dollywood. I think that it's very important to help the Eagle Foundation because it supports a lot of eagles in Knoxville, Tennessee. It was hard to make because I needed to buy all the wood and put it together and it took about uh, two hours. Hello, my name is Pitt Vogel. Um, my portfolio project is the art and history of songwriting. Um, I've loved songwriting since I was little. I would always listen to music and dance to the music and sometimes even make up some words to songs, um, but depending on like the day or my emotions. And it's really been something that I've loved to get my emotions out or to just explain how my day is going. Um, and for my artifact, I did a box for each timeline of one of my favorite times of songwriting. So starting with this box, um, this is explaining different hymns that were made um, before the first year before Christ. Um, and I have a couple of scrolls and then in like a hymn book. And then the second thing is the Baroque time period. I have a little water fountain and something like that you would see on a church ceiling. Um, it's supposed to like represent like the sky. And then this one, I have a collage of the jazz and blues. Here are a bunch of different pictures um, that are from that time period. And then here we have the 1920s um, through the 2000s of Broadway and musical theater. And this is supposed to be like New York in the city. And then lastly, I did modern songwriting. And this is um, 
a songwriting book that I made in my service project, um, which is a bunch of lower schoolers. And we wrote a song about the earth, and it has a bunch of um, the kids' artworks that they made to describe it. Um, so yeah. <laughs>